Since its launch, EU civil protection has pooled resources from around Europe to fight disasters in Europe and worldwide. But as natural and man-made disasters, from earthquakes and floods to marine pollution, have surged over the past decade, there's been a growing need for even closer cooperation, for a more coordinated, predictable emergency response. A need also for more Europe-wide collaboration in assessing risks and planning how to reduce them. So building on past experience, European legislation has been revised to better prevent, prepare and plan for disasters and better respond to them. At the heart of emergency response, the EU now also asks EU member states to commit a voluntary pool of core response assets, specialized professionals and equipment. They're on permanent standby, ready for immediate deployment on joint European operations. EU funding helps to shoulder the costs of this availability and ensures high quality, conforming to the best international standards. Now, when disaster strikes, the Emergency Response Coordination Centre in Brussels calls on these resources and facilitates their deployment along with necessary funding or in-kind assistance. The centre's staff monitor the disaster situation. They streamline transport arrangements to get resources and assistance quickly to where they're needed. EU civil protection has responded to more than 200 emergencies since launch. This better planned Europe-wide coordination means a faster, reliable emergency response. It avoids duplicating efforts, making the most of funds available, and working with international agencies to get aid to those in need. But alongside emergency response, the new legislation emphasizes a longer-term strategy for disaster management. To better prepare for disasters, more training opportunities for professionals from across Europe. More cross-border simulation exercises. Exchange visits. Technical courses. And for an all-encompassing approach, the EU now asks EU member states to share their disaster risk assessments, refine their planning and share information on their coping capacities understanding risks as the starting point for Europe-wide contingency planning. Where needed, there's now limited funding available for new resources and for extra response capacity called buffers to cope with exceptional emergencies. The result of these changes? Disaster management that's more predictable, structured, coordinated and cost-effective. Geared to meet real needs wherever disaster strikes.